Tonight, our investigation into Metro Atlanta mail delays tied to the Postal Service at the new Palmetto facility continues. The problems have thousands of Georgians reaching out to 11 Alive trying to track down their mail. Yeah, a lot of folks are really concerned and still no answers from the Postal Service. 11 Alive's Liza Lucas turned to outside experts and new data to better understand just how much mail operations slowed since that facility launched. It's intended to be a mega hub for Georgia's mail. These RP and DCs were supposed to be these regional processing centers that were going to take in mail from a wide regional area, bring it in under one umbrella. The Palmetto Regional Processing and Distribution Center is a 1 million square foot processing center, part of the first round of facilities like it to launch in the U.S. But since March, we've gotten more than 2,000 messages from 11 Alive viewers about missing and late mail related to the rollout. What have you been hearing? What are you hearing? We've been hearing the same things that you have with the, the delays and trailers backed up. With few answers Coming from the Postal Service, we turn to Ivan Butts with the National Association of Postal Supervisors for clarity. It's a large task to, to take all this volume of mail and bring it into these facilities. He pointed to the challenges of launching these mega facilities, saying his group has long been concerned about staffing because when processing mail does not go to plan. You have these pinch points where mail can get hung up. An example, a viewer shared this letter postmarked February 27th, just landing this week. The Postal Service says it stands by the statement it sent 11 Alive three weeks ago. That operations are improving. But when we ask Butts what he thinks. Follow the data. The data tells the whole story. So we did. Using the Postal Service's public dashboard where the agency self-reports the rate that first class mail is delivered. The goal is to deliver at least 95% of mail on time. Georgia numbers hovered around 80% in January. But once the Palmetto facility launched February 24th, the on-time delivery rate for first-class mail dropped to just 36 percent by mid-March. And when you look at first-class single-piece letters, the numbers are even worse. But says employees are doing what they can, but customers should keep speaking up, adding there are big questions that need to be answered. I feel we're in a big hole because the number one challenge is, is really is, is in resources. And, and if you don't have the staff, if you don't have those resources in place, uh, it's almost impossible to get this job done. But you can see why residents are really frustrated mm -hmm. now. The Postal Service has repeatedly denied our request for an interview, so we're just turning to other sources to try to get you some answers. Yeah, and one question we are getting a lot is whether you can avoid sending your mail through Palmetto. So check out this map on your screen. It's from a USPS report on these facilities, which was shared with unions. You see those areas highlighted in different colors from Marietta to Athens down to Columbus and Warner Robins. All of that is now covered by the new Palmetto facility. The only parts of Georgia that seem to be excluded are near Dalton and Savannah. So unfortunately, it does not appear that most people in Georgia can avoid sending mail through Palmetto. Now, when it does come to accountability, we do have one new update for you tonight. A U.S. Senate committee, which includes Senator John Ossoff, will hold a hearing on the Postal Service on Tuesday. The Postmaster General Louis DeJoy is set to testify, so 11 Alive will be watching closely to see what he says and bring it to you.